Hi guys, my name is Valerie from Valerie Visuals and I'm an illustrator, motion and graphic designer. In this tutorial, I'll show you three easy ways to create a shadow inside After Effects. You totally can use those methods on your own projects, but if you want to do it with me, I left an After Effects file of this project in the description down below. The project includes the school character and much more useful stuff you can use for your own personal projects. If you want to learn how to create a waving animation like the hands of this character, I highly recommend to watch my previous tutorial. I left a link for this tutorial in the description down below also. And if you are new on my channel and you love to create animations, subscribe to my channel for more cool tutorials on a daily basis. So, let's begin with the first method. We start with the simple one. As you can see, in my scene I have a character and the floor which is just a pencil texture that I place down here. Also I have the same texture for the background and the simple solid layer for the basic background color. First press Ctrl or Command D for duplicating our character. Change the name of this layer to Character Shadow. Now press on the right click, go to Transforms and choose Flip Vertical. Now let's turn off our character layer so we can stay only with the shadow layer. Ok cool, resize the layer like this and place it down. Now let's add a corner pin effect. I will explain what you can do with this effect. This effect allows us to move the corners of any layer separately, like this. Leave a comment if you want me to make a tutorial for this effect. So let's back to our shadow. Add the corner pin effect and place it so it looks like the shadow is on the floor. Let's bring down the layer a little bit and add a fill effect. Change the color to black and for giving it the look of a real shadow add a fast box blur effect. Bring up the blur radius to 50 and iterations to 5. For the final touch press T on our shadow layer and bring the opacity to 70. Nice! And now let's move to the second method. For this method we need to turn our floor to 3D layer. Let's take the floor and place it with the help of a line tool in the middle of our composition like this. And now Click on this area to turn the layer to a 3D layer. Go to, go to the transforms and rotate the X axis to minus 90 degrees. Now take the layer down and here we have a floor. And now we create the shadow. Duplicate the character, change the name of the layer to character shadow. Turn it into a 3D layer also and rotate it on the X axis minus 90 degrees. Now just copy the Z position of the floor and paste to the Z position of the shadow layer.
right click on the shadow, go to transforms and flip it horizontally. To give it the look of a real shadow, we will repeat the steps as in the previous method. Let's move to the final method and the most realistic one. Turn the floor and the character into a 3D layers. Right click in this area. Go to new and select light. Let's choose a spotlight and make sure that cast shadows is checked. Now press OK. Go to the material option of our character, turn on the cast shadows and turn off accept light so that the character will not affected by our light. And now repeat the same process for the floor. Now we need to place the light properly so we can see the shadow. What will help us a lot in this is to connect the point of interest of the light to our character position. I will explain. You can see when the point of interest is connected to the circle, no matter how we move the light, it is always pointed to the circle. Now let's apply it in our project. Open the transforms of the light, here is our point of interest, you can see. Also open the transforms of the character. And now click on the stopwatch of the point of interest while pressing Alt on the keyboard. And now drag the parenting icon to the character position. Look how cool is that, no matter where we move the light, it is always pointing at the character. That way it's very easy for us to find where to place the light so we can see the shadow as we want. I am reducing a little bit the radius of the light because it's too big and now if you pay attention, I will put the maximum quality for you can see it better. Our shadow is too sharp, let's make it softer. Increase the shadow diffusion to 150 and lower the shadow darkness to 70. Nice. These are the three methods I use in my animations. In case you find this tutorial helpful, Click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more cool tutorials in the future. Until then, take care and keep creating.